In this video, we're going to be talking about platelet-rich plasma injections, pretty much how you can take your own blood and use it to heal all different types of orthopedic injuries. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Kola and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you're looking to turbocharge your fitness, health and nutrition, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. Okay, let's get right to it. Let's talk about in this video what platelet-rich plasma is, okay? What type of injuries can it potentially help in your body? We'll talk about the course, you know, of these injections and pretty much what you can expect, how long does it take before these injections actually start working. And then stick around to the end of the video. Um, I'm gonna give you some of my own personal experiences. I had a number of clients get these injections over the years. I'm personally getting a PRP injection um, in a couple of weeks. And I'll tell you, I'll give you a little quick story of what led me to, pretend, to have this injection in two weeks. Okay, let's talk about PRP. Okay, platelet-rich plasma is pretty much a medical procedure in which a doctor is gonna take some blood out of you, take a couple of vials of blood, they're gonna put it in this big centrifuge machine. They're actually gonna spin the blood and they're gonna isolate these platelets. Then they're gonna take these platelets and they're gonna inject them in the injured area. For example, let's say you have arthritis in the knee. Say you have some type of like, maybe a potentially a torn meniscus or some type of tendon type issue like tendonitis, tendinosis, things along the lines of that. These platelets create a great environment for healing. They're actually growth factors in these platelets. So besides having also having some stem cells in, in these platelets, what it's really gonna do the more though is actually create an environment for your body to actually produce stem cells in the injured area to heal things like tendonitis, tendinosis, you know, potentially heal cartilage, heal bone. Actually, there's been, there's been some pretty good research showing how these um, platelet-rich plasma injections really do a wonderful job. It's almost like they're actually creating a little bit of inflammation and that inflammation process is actually gonna heal the body. That's why a lot of new research is showing that taking anti-inflammatory medication, things like Advil and Aleve, right after, right after a new injury, may not necessarily be the best thing because you do want a little bit of inflammation. Some studies have shown that taking things like Advil or Aleve actually slow down the healing process. They may temporarily make you feel better, but that inflammation that like, you know, your body swells for a reason. And there's a lot of good things like platelets there that actually do heal. So this would be an, an exaggerated way of doing that. Taking the blood out of your system, spinning in the centrifuge, getting all these platelets, injecting it into the injured area. Like if you have arthritis in your knee, I think along, along the lines of that, it could be a great thing to try. Okay, so that, that's you know some reason for potentially having these injections. Okay, now how long does it take to work? Well, let's say after you get an injection, it takes about anywhere three to six weeks. You know, have a little discomfort initially. After three to six weeks, hopefully, you start seeing some results. You know, after that, you know the course. I did a lot of research in New York. You know, I'm getting numbers for like per injection anywhere from as little as five hundred dollars per injection to as much as about 1,200. You know, there's some, some studies have shown different things. You know, one protocol is to get one injection, um, you know, spaced out, maybe two, three weeks, get another injection, two, three weeks, get a third injection. Okay, but it also, what I've looked, my own personal experience with this is what I've learned after like talking to a couple of doctors about is that it's very important getting the injection in, actually in the right location, okay? See, I always thought that, for example, if you have arthritis in your knee, you just get a general intercapsule injection. Intercapsule meaning that, you know, all your joints are encapsulated. And it's not like when you look at a skeleton, you just see like the knee and the kneecap and the femur and the tibia. You know, when you, you know, when you take a cadaver course, like I'm taking cadaver courses and, and, you, and you look at a joint, it's really encapsulated. It's almost like watertight. So I always thought that when you get a PRP or even like a stem cell injection right into the capsule, it'll just go, you know, everywhere and, and circulate through the whole joint. What is, the doctors are telling me that you really have to be very specific. For example, if you have, say, tendonitis in your elbow, you, some, some doctors will even use ultrasound guided injections. You really want to specifically where the injury or where the issue is for this PRP injections to work best. Some surgeons are actually using it at the end of an operation. For example, say you have a knee meniscus operation and to speed the healing from the operation, some surgeons will actually inject a PRP 
um, it, you know, when, when they close up the, um, the knee after the scope, they speed up the healing process. And why I talked about the numbers of the courses, that insurance does not cover platelet-rich plasma injections, unfortunately. It's still considered an experimental procedure. You know, things like typical injections you may have heard before, like cortisone injections, those are covered by insurance. But cortisone injections are almost the exact opposite of a platelet-rich plasma injection. You know, cortisone injections do get rid of inflammation. You get a temporary relief. I've had cortisone injections in my knee and my shoulder and all different parts, but I never had great results with a cortisone injection. Next, and also, you don't want to do multiple cortisone injections because it potentially can weaken or damage your joint. You know, you can get, I mean, the general rule is you want to get less than three per year, but even that, I think, is somewhat excessive. Um, you know, you really want to limit those cortisone injections as much as possible. But if you need them, you know, get them. You know, if your doctor knows what they're doing, um, he or she just... Take their advice, you know, try to try cortisone injections. They're covered by insurance. But if you really want to try to heal the joint and create an environment for tissue to grow back, you can consider doing platelet rich plasma injections. Okay. Well, let me talk about my own like little personal experience. This that you know, if you follow me on, on this YouTube channel, actually I just recently did, I'm I'm gonna link it up, you know, right above me. I recently did a live video on YouTube talking about my exact situation, my issue with my knee and how I, I was good, I was looking into getting stem cells. Let me give you like a quick, quick review. You know, I had a meniscus operation about 10 years ago. First, I told my MCL and I told my meniscus I had an operation. I never had a good result. My knee always bothered me. And as you know, I, I've been owning I own a gym for like 25, 30 years. I mean, I'm very active. I work out. So having a knee issue, uh, you know, has been a real problem for me. I tried a number of things. I tried those, those, those chicken comb in injections, gel injections. You know, I have a little bit of arthritis in the knee. I got some scar tissue from an operation. I can't get a conclusive diagnosis from... Um, from surgeons, you know, I, I've got a number of different opinions and I've heard anything from like scar tissue in the Hofsa pad, Hoffa pad, um, or to plica, the plica syndrome. I also have a little bit of arthritis in the knee in the trochlear root behind the patella. You know, so after getting a number of opinions, I decided I'm going to go with either stem cells or PRP. And after meeting with one physician recently, I decided to try the platelet-rich plasma injection first. And we're going to do it as somewhat of a diagnostic test, okay, which is somewhat interesting. Since with my knee, we're not sure if it's the arthritis that's causing most of the issue or is it the actually scar tissue or plica or plica syndrome. So what we're gonna do first is that we're, we're gonna inject um, the PRP, the platelet-rich plasma, in the scar tissue and in the plica type area. And the goal is that if I get about 25% better from this injection, we know that that's the issue. And then we're going to go in there with the heavy artillery. We're probably going to do another PRP injection, potentially mixing that with some stem cells. Now, either we're going to do umbilical, like fluid type stem cells, or maybe bone marrow or subcutaneous fat. I'm going to do some more videos about stem cells down the road. I'm going to do a lot of research about this, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be hooking everybody up with some, some great information about stem cells. And, and just some other um, information about the PRP. I have to say, I must have had at least half a dozen, I think it may be even a dozen clients over the years who've had these PRP injections. Most of them very successful, but more for things like tennis elbow, tendonitis, shoulder um, tendonitis, like, like, like say you got subscap tendonitis. It's worked really well for that. You know, I haven't had anyone that I know have had it in their knees. But I'm really looking forward to this injection. I hope I get, get a good result. And you know, I'll Google it. Google, Google platelet rich plasma, you know, read about it. And I, I know it's really difficult when you're suffering from joint injuries. You know, I do a lot of, I've done a lot of rehab on my knee. I get it so, so far, you know, I improve, I improve, and then I get a setback. So I really do think, I'm hoping that these PRP injections will help. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, make sure you give me a thumbs up. You know, share it with anyone who's in pain or anyone who has issues who's thinking about getting these inje injections. And once again, remember, if you're looking to turbocharge your fitness, health, and nutrition, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. Take care and have a wonderful day.